everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 21153, The Wool Farm, from the LEGO Minecraft theme. This set contains 260 pieces, 4 figures, and retails for $19.99 in the US. I picked up this set out of sheer curiosity, because it looked really, really unique, and I was very curious how they're going to do this sheet belt in the back here, and I have to say, I am not disappointed at all. These figures are really exciting too, but we'll take a look at them in a little bit. This terrain build, though, is super, super nice. As you can see, we have a little birch tree here. The Minecraft trees, they come in a lot of sets, but it's always nice to get more. So if you do want to build a bigger forest or something like this is easily removable, so you can move it onto your own like the Minecraft builds. But it, it's integrated here into this little fence. You can see there's a birch log right here, and then some birch fencing. And that looks really cool, and it ties into the sheep design as well, because he uses this tan color. And obviously, he's supposed to be made out of wool, but there is no tan wool. But it's this light, uh light tan color the same as this fence over here so it's meant to be made out of birch wood just like this tree so you can assume that there used to be a tree right here or something where that wood has come from which i think is like a really nice like little touch it's not a huge thing but i appreciate that then you just have some terrain, a lot of space to hold figures or sheep or whatever you want. Uh, a few jumper plates for them to stand on, and then just some normal like plating. Uh, over here you have some farms, some orange and some green crops. I assume those are supposed to be carrots and these are supposed to be wheat or something else. We have some sugar cane growing on some sand right here. There's this little path, which looks a bit strange to me because they're like thinner pieces, so I'm not sure what Minecraft block this is supposed to be, because that's like the only part of this that's not square, so those look a bit odd to me, but that's like, that's very easy to change if you want, you can just put two of them right here, and then no, none others, so you have like, uh, dirt, water, stone, water, grass, like if you want to do that you can, so it's not that hard to change, it's just a little weird that the designers approved that, because I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And then finally over here we have this giant sheep statue, as you can see, uh, he can be removed very easily, just take him off right here. He is made of multiple pieces, so they do come apart if you're trying to take him off, but as a whole, like if you're just standing him on there, he will stand quite easily. And you can see it's just nine jumper plates, so that's a very nice like little stand, so you can build your own creations and put them there, or you can put the sheep there, or there's two alternate builds you could use as well. And aside from that, you can see there's a little stone jumper right here and some more grass pieces, and it's just a nice like big terrain piece, and I really enjoy that. Something really, really cool in this set is that sheep build I showed you is not made out of like standard building techniques. Instead, it's made of all of these individual little Lego Minecraft blocks. There are two pieces each. They're a jumper piece plus a uh, standard 2x2. Two two. Some are a little bit wider to represent two blocks. But these are all the pieces that go into making that sheep. It's not like one big solid build. It's all of these little things. And this feels so Minecrafty. Like, this is a great rep translation of Minecraft into Lego because Minecraft is made of little individual blocks. And you can turn this into that cohesive sheep build. And it's also got two alternate builds, which I'll show you. And it's just really, really cool to me that they chose to do this because it definitely feels very much like Minecraft. And I think this is like, this is excellent. So as I said, using all those pieces I just showed you, you can build a sheep statue. But you could also build this heart right here. Or you can build this parrot right here. Three very cool and unique options. I think the sheep's by far the best because, I mean, that's what the pieces were designed for. But the parrot's not bad either. And the heart, while way more simple than the other two, is definitely a cool alternate build. And I love all three of these. Most of all, though, I just love the system used to build this. The fact that it uses all these, like, little individual Minecraft blocks. This means you can use the same blocks to create your own designs using these Minecraft blocks. And I think that's really, really cool. Here are the first two figures that come in this set. We have the standard LEGO Minecraft Steve and we have a baby sheep. Steve's very, very standard. I'm sure you guys have all seen him before. He's got little bird printing on his torso, purple legs, uh, blue arms, and he's got his uh, face print, and then his arm around, nothing on the back. Very, very simple minifigure, but still quite good. Like, it looks, it's a very good representation of Minecraft Steve translating into a Lego minifigure, and I like how they did him. And while he hasn't been changed in years, I don't think there's many changes they could make. Short sleeves on him would be nice, but it's not a huge deal. And then the baby sheep here, it's really, really cute. I like him. It's just the same sheep head, one other piece, and then uh, some legs, and it's very tiny, very cute. I like it. Then the two other figures in this set are red sheep and yellow sheep. These are colors I don't believe we've gotten for sheep before in LEGO Minecraft. This is super cool to get these. Uh, they still have the white faces to mimic how they look in uh, Minecraft Java Edition. And I think that's quite cool how they, like, even though that's something that's, like, a bit strange about them, how they maintain the white faces even with the dyed colors. I think that's cool how they brought that over into LEGO like this. But other than that, it's just a standard sheep build, but in red and yellow. It's just fun and unique and it's something that, like, we wouldn't get in most sets. So in a sheep, so in a set that's about, like, building things with different different color wool blocks, it's cool to see like these different colored sheep. And you may have noticed the Steve figure came with scissors which are meant to represent shears. And you can actually shear these sheep. So what you do is they've got a full like block on the back right here. You can remove this just like that and replace it with like a skin colored block right here. That way you can remove this, use this as a wool block, give it to Steve. You can put a jumper tile on top to make it match the other wool blocks but this is what comes off their back and you can replace it like that right there and have a sheared sheep. 
Same thing with the red sheep over here. You can remove that, and it comes with another one too. So that way you can have uh, one more yellow and one more red block, and you can have the sheep sheared if you so desire. And you can have the sheep sheared if you so desire. So overall, what I recommend this set, if you guys have been watching the Woo Crew podcast, my weekly podcast with my friend Matthew, you would have heard us talk about how we think LEGO Minecraft is one of LEGO's best themes. And I think this set is a prime example of that. This is a huge build for only $20, and like the little interchangeable Minecraft blocks is such a fun and unique concept that really promotes creativity while staying very true to the game it's based on. And I could not think of a way this set could be done better. My only complaint in this set is that little thing with the stones in the river where I don't understand what they're me meant to represent and they don't really fit the Minecraft like look. But that's such a little thing that I just, I felt like pointing it out, but like literally that small little thing is my only complaint with this set. Other than that, it's perfect and like, that shows how great this theme and how great this set is. So I highly recommend you pick this set up, even if you're not the biggest fan of Minecraft. Like, this is just a wonderful set, and LEGO Minecraft's a wonderful theme. If you guys don't buy it, you're really sleeping on it, because it's really, really good. I believe the red and yellow sheep are exclusive to this set, and the baby sheep, all you, like, those pieces come in other sets, they're not super common. So it's just, like, two exclusive figures, a really nice set, two other figures. Like, there's so much to love here. So yeah, I highly recommend you get this set if you are a fan of Minecraft, or even if you're not. I think it's a really, really great set to get. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you do decide you want to get this set, you can click the first link in the description. That's my Amazon affiliate link. It'll take you to the Amazon listing for this set. If you buy this set through that link, it'll help support me at no extra cost to you, and I would greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!